So, we have seen the application of the constructs of uh, if then and if else as well as uh, while, do while and for constructs. Uh, till now, we have seen examples in um, of while and do while. We will see more examples for loops. Uh, for example, let us also see another application for uh, the application of for loop. Say for example, I want to print, uh, I want to add uh, 20 numbers. I think we have seen such examples. We will see more interesting examples a little later, but before that let us look at some common errors that uh, take place often unintentionally in writing loops and that gives rise to a number of logical problems in a program. <coughs> For example, let us look at this. Here you can see the first line what will happen? The intention was that while sum is less than equal to num, that means it is less than equal to some a particular value may be 20, we are adding sum plus 2. What does this mean? Let us try to understand this example, forget about this, forget about this part. What would, what is the intention of doing this? That means, suppose, suppose num is 10 and sum is 0. So, while uh, sum is less than num, I will be adding sum plus and 2. So, sum will be now uh, sum will be 2 and then sum is still less than num. So, again it will be 4, sum is still less than num it will be 6, still less than num, it will be 8, still less than equal to num, it will be 10, then still less than equal to num, it will be 12 and then when it goes there, it will stop. So, what will be the sum? Sum will be 12, but that was my intention of the program, but unfortunately, I have put a semicolon here. What does that imply? That implies that the entire while statement ends here. That means, while sum equal to num do nothing. All right. So, that is the end of the statement. So, nothing has been specified there and whatever sum was there, suppose sum was 0, sum will perpetually remain less than 10 or num and it will go on forever. So, this semicolon should not be given because the while statement is actually extending up to this point, up to this point that is the whole statement. Okay. So, next example we take is this one for i assign 0 i less than equal to num plus plus i, forget again about this. What is the intention of this program? What will it do? i is 0 all right, and num was say something like 20. Then sum will be added to i. So, sum will be 0, then i will be incremented. So, i will become 1 less than num, it will be added. So, sum will now be sum was 0. So, sum will now be 1, here was sum, sum was 0, sum becomes 1, then sum becomes 2, sum becomes 3 like that it will go on. All right. However, since I have put a semicolon here, this part is not a part of this for statement. Consequently, this loop is a null loop, nothing is being done here and for i equals 0, i less than equal to num, 
i plus plus do nothing all right so nothing will happen here this statement will not be executed here is another type of pitfall where let's study this for i equal to 1 i not equal to 10 i assigned i plus 2 what will happen to this loop can anyone guess i is 1 so sum 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 has been computed sum is sum plus i sum was 0 so 0 plus 1 sum is 1 then i is incremented to 3 then sum equals sum plus i so sum becomes 4 then this is incremented to 5 after each incrementation i am checking with this condition <coughs> so i is 5 not equal to 10 fine so i'll add 5 with this so it will become 9 then becomes 7 i is changed to 7 i check with this still not equal to 10 so 7 is added to this 16 this becomes 9 still not equal to 10 so then 9 plus uh, 16 plus 9 may be 25 and then this is incremented to 11 because i plus 2 still it is not equal to 10 so what will happen it will go on it will never be e equal to 10 this means as long as i is i is not equal to 10 you will go on so this will be a case of an another infinite loop all right just as in this case there is a null statement this will be done and then this statement will be done only once here it will be an infinite loop okay because this condition will never be met so these are some points wh where we should be very careful about uh, now let us uh, have a very interesting program we want to print uh, we want to print we want to print a pattern like this we want to print a pattern like this say 5 stars in a row and 3 such rows so this sort of pattern how can i do that my algorithm will be so i want to print i want to print a row of stars how many 5 stars so how can i print 5 stars in a row if I just write one statement printf star and do not give a backslash n then what will be done a star will be suppose this is my screen all right a star will be printed and if I put it in a loop say for i assign 0 i 5 i want to do less than equal to 5 i plus plus and i do this then what will happen i 0 so once it is printed then i 1 once it is printed again in the same line then again another one so since i am giving a gap what i can do here i can keep a space here star and then a space i show space by blank so 
exactly a star and a blank will be printed. So, i is 0, i is 1, i is 2, i is 3, i is 4 and then it is incremented and checked i is 5. So, less than 5 it will not happen. Okay. Then, so this will be a loop after doing that. So, in a loop I will be printing one row, then I will give printf I have to come to the next line. So, I will simply give a backslash n that means I will come to the next line and this again loop I will carry out how many times? 3 times because I need 3 rows. So, what should I do? I should do this again loop this 3 times. So, how should I write it? How would that look like now? It should be something like this for j, j is another variable assigned 0, j less than 3, j plus plus for i assigned 0, i less than 5, i plus plus and then here print f star followed by a blank and then the quote no backslash in at the, at the end of this. So, after this loop is done then I will do print f backslash n. backslash n. So, this part this part will be repeated 3 times and in this part it will be this one will be done 5 times. So, star 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 will be printed then we will come to the next line and here this is my next for loop. So, I come to print f and again do the same thing this part star 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 5 times this print f by this loop. This is print a row printing a row by 5 times okay. and then again I come and do a backslash n I come here and do the same thing 3 times and then come here backslash n and then stop. So, print a row of 5 stars and repeat Therefore, I am repeating this print star 5 times in a loop. So, that is a very nice interesting application of a for loop. I hope you have understood this. So, here that is exactly what I have I was showing you look at this here the number of rows and columns have been made a little flexible rows 3 columns 5. Now, row equal to 1 while row is less than rows print a row of 5 stars. This I have done it with a for here it is shown using a while. So, let us see while whether you can understand this also with a while row is 1. Now, row is less than rows how many rows will do row is less than rows that means as long as it is sorry as long as it is. Uh, 3 rows will print a row of 5 and what how do I do a row of 5? I will that we have already shown that how we do it and then we increment the row all right. So, here while row is less than rows print a row of 5 printing a row of 5 is done in this manner. So, this is the outer loop this is the outer loop okay. column is 1 while column is less than columns. So, 5 columns 1 2 3 4 5 while column is less than column print f star and blank 
and then column is incremented. Now, since I am doing it in a while, it is done in this way. Okay. I have already shown you in the um, earlier this thing, how we can do it with for. I can do the same thing with for, right? With the same thing with for, and here it is being shown how it can be done with a while. And then I print f n and do this. You can try to understand this again yourself. Next, say here this is being done again in the way that I had written using for. Here only 3 and 5, these things are variable. For rho equals 1 to rho less than equal to 3 plus plus rho. Here it is a plus plus row that means first is incremented, then column is less than equal to columns. Why it is less than equal to? While if you remember, I was when I was doing it here, um, when I was doing it, I had less than 3, less than 5, less than 3, less than 5. But here it is being less than equal to 3 less than equal to 5. Why? Because I started my index with 0 and here I am starting my index with 1. All right. So, this you should be very careful and you should always hand trace your program and see whether you have done it correctly if there is a little bit of confusion because this is very, care, this is very important and you should be very careful about it. Okay. So, the same thing that I had shown is written again here. Another 2 D figure, this is a little more interesting. First row we print 1 star, second row we print 2 stars, third row we print 3 stars, fourth row we print 4 stars and then 5 stars. So, how many stars I will print that is also variable. So, if we think about that, how many times I will print in a row that is also a variable. How many times I am, do, I am doing this? So, for the first when rho is equal to 1, then I am printing 1 star. When rho is equal to 2, I am printing 2 stars. When rho is equal to 3, I am printing 3 stars. So, every time I can also say that I am printing rho stars I am printing row stars, okay. row number of stars. Therefore, how many times I will do in a loop, in the inner loop? You could see that when I we had drawn this, thrice or twice, whatever, there was here there is an inner loop 5 times and an outer loop that was doing 2 times right now here what we'll change it to is inner loop row times outer loop maybe three times. So, this is variable. Okay. Now, let us see how we can program it. Constant integer rows is 5 that I have not made variable. There are two integers row and column. For row equal to 1, I start with rows, row as an index 
and rho less than rows less than 5 plus plus rho what do I do column equals 1 I will do up to column less than equal to rho. So, first row column 1 column is less than equal to rho only once I will print then plus plus column. So, column becomes 2, but what is my row? Row is 1, still I am pointing at this row, row is 1. So, I will do printf. Now, the value of row becomes 2 as an increment, but then the column, this is the column, this is row, the column will be less than rho because rho has become 2 now it is pointing to this row this row. So, column being less than that I will come out of the first row. Okay. Second row what will happen column will start from 1 and rho is 2. So, column less than rho I will print once I will go back here column is becoming 2 and column is still equal less equal to rho all right, not less than but equal to rho therefore, I will again print here then I will come back here and now column is 3 column is 3, but rho is 2 therefore, I will not print any longer I will come out of this loop and go here then rho will be incremented here all right rho has been incremented here and now again column is reinitialized to 1 for the third row first it is printed incremented column comes here all right then columns column comes here so column is 3 still less than equal equal to rho so i print the third one and then it is incremented so the row becomes 4 but my column is sorry the column becomes 4 but rho is 3 therefore the column is i go out of the loop and again column is initialized to 1 and my row is incremented to this so, that is how it is done. You please look at it more carefully and you will have to understand it and this will give you a very clear idea how a nested loop is working. Okay. So, this is one example. Here what we are trying to do just think of this figure first row is 5. So, rho is this column is here how long shall I print in the columns keeping the row fixed what will be my logic the logic will be well here I started row with 0 and less number of uh, less than number of rows rows is 5 that is not that important here let us look at this first I will do 5 then I will do 4 but there is another one for the second row I am shifting one space I am shifting this should have been aligned and then I am shifting and giving a space and then doing it. So, gradually it is being shifted. So, let us see what is being done let us look at the first for loop here this is the outer for loop let us uh, outer for loop is up to this outer for loop is up to this and let us see what is happening row is 0 to number of rows less than. So, I have started with 0. So, I did not make it less than equal to it is less than less than 5 I will do this number of times internally what am I doing this doing here column is 1 and column is less than row because less than equal to row because row is 0 row is 0 and column is 1 look at the trick here the trick that has been applied is column has been in is starting with a value 1 and as long as column is less than row I am printing blank. So, how many blanks should I print for the first column one blank. Okay. Then column less than 
Now, here from the first column, look at this point column equals 1, column less than equal to rows, rows is 5. As long as column is less than equal to rows minus row, what is my row? Initially, my row is 0. So, rows minus row is 5. Okay, it is 5. So, column is 1, column is less than equal to 5 plus plus. So, I do printf, I do a printf and I go on doing this as long as the column is. So, column is now incremented to 2, 3, 4. How long will it come for the first row? It will come 5 times because rows minus row 5 minus 0. So, I will print this and then I will come back this loop is over, this loop is over. I will print a backslash n up to this sorry I am sorry this for loop is actually extending up to this. So, from here I go back. So, I come to the second row. So, now row becomes 1 let us see now row becomes 1 less than 5 for column equal to 1 column less than equal to row 1 still valid I give 1 blank here 1 blank here for the second row my row pointer has come here row is 1 then I do column 1 2 column minus rows. So, one blank I have already given. So, I am now my starting is here. How many now row is 1. So, 5 minus 1. So, that means 4. 4 times this will loop and print star and then print f n. Next time I go back here and this becomes 2. So, row 2 to less than 5 <coughs> column is again now <coughs> 2 blanks <coughs> column is 1 2 less than equal to row and row is 2. So, 1 to 2. So, there will be 2 blanks here 1 blank here 1 blank here. So, I am coming here and then I am printing this is 2. So, 5 minus 2 3 stars. So, in this way I can go on and print this figure by an intelligent way of applying the for loops or the nested loops and putting in the spaces together, spaces properly. Okay. I think this gives a very interesting example uh, for you to look at. So, these are some of the examples that we have seen. We will come to this for thing again later, but uh, <coughs> Let us um, just remind you a little bit about some things that we had mentioned in passing. For example, this operator plus equal to as for example, here <coughs> A plus equal to B. This means A assigned A plus B. These are some shortcuts. All right, a minus equal to b. That means a is assigned a minus b. Here, a star b plus ten, a as star assigned b plus ten. That means a will be assigned a times b plus ten. So in that way, we have got this one also say a assigned b that means a is assigned a divided by b. These are some of the shortcuts. So, this is just to wrap up some of the assignment operations that we had talked about, but these are uh, as I said that uh, you can keep this uh, for later use. Right now more fundamental thing that you need to know is the use of if else, for, while, do while etcetera. In the next lecture, we will start with a new concept called arrays and there 
you will find that these loops are becoming so important and we will have many interesting applications using arrays that will be done from next lecture onwards. Thank you.